There are many options that affect the appearance of a detailed drawing. Dimensioning standard, units, note font, arrow size, and the list goes on. You can take the time to adjust these options in the drawing option setting, but it would be nice to be able to save them so you don't have to repeat the process each time you begin a new drawing. This can be accomplished by creating custom drawing templates. To create a custom drawing template, begin by starting a new drawing file. If you select a sheet format or title block here, it will be saved into your drawing template. For instance, if I select an e-landscape format, every time I use the custom template, it will have an e-landscape title block. If you don't want to be tied to any particular title block, select No Sheet Format here. Now, let's make some changes to the settings that will affect this drawing. In Options, notice that all settings are divided into two tabs, System Options and Document Properties. All changes made in the Document Properties tab will be stored in the custom template you create. For this template, I'll select ISO Standard. I'll change my note font to 24. and I'll change my units to centimeters with three decimal places. Once these options are set, it's time to save this template. From the File drop-down menu, select Save As. Change the Save As type option to Drawing Templates. The directory you are saving in will automatically change to a default folder where SolidWorks stores its templates. You can save your template here, or you can browse to a completely different folder on your local hard drive or on a network if you prefer. If you choose to save to a folder other than the default, there is a special step that you must perform to be able to access your custom template. I'll go over this step at the end. For now, I'll give my custom template a name and click Save. Now that the custom template is saved, when I begin a new file, you can see it is one of the templates I can start with and I don't have to worry about changing all my settings every time. I mentioned earlier that if you choose to save your custom templates into a folder other than the SolidWorks default, there's an additional step that you must perform. Let me save this template into a different directory. If I begin a new file at this point, Notice that the template I just saved does not appear in the list. To make it visible, I have to tell SolidWorks where I saved it. In Options, there's a section called File Locations. This allows me to tell SolidWorks where to find certain types of files, in this case, document templates. Click the Add button. Browse to the folder that contains your custom templates and click OK. You can see the folder is added to the list. Now when I begin a new file, you can see the new folder appears as a tab right up here, and the custom template can now be selected.